Coach, uh, at the risk of oversimplifying it, um, you know, BG had some chances early on, but uh, late in the game it's still tied. And am I correct if you, you don't take some of those chances early, you just sort of leave yourself open for you know, any slip up can cost it? Yeah, I think it was uh, as simple as that. You know, sometimes soccer is way simpler than, than we, we like to admit. And when you don't follow a game plan and when you don't execute when you've got the opportunities, a game like this will happen. And, and you know, the longer you leave um, a team in a game, the, the more chance they've got of, of snatching it. So, yeah, well, there's nothing I can say, but, <laughs> but Akron deserved it. They, they played well and, and they got from the game exactly what they should have. And you know, not to not to try to put a nice, pretty bow on a loss, because I know you want to win every time you go out there. But um, a lot of your team goals, nearly every team goal, is still in front of you. I mean, I know you're you want to win every time you play, but you also come into the season with a goal of competing for a MAC title, and that's still you know, again, I know that's it's the optimistic view, but you're still in first place. You know, late in the season controlling your own destiny so I mean I guess where do you you know maybe how do you what, what do you look for now you know the other side of the coin this long question is the it's the first loss in a long time your players that haven't experienced this in close to two months so you know I guess what do you what do you look to do before the weekend against Buffalo the same thing we've been doing we're not going to change anything we're not going to panic you're absolutely right we're, we're eight and one if you'd have given me this moment um, and said at this stage of the season you'd be eight and one, five points clear at the top of the league, I'd have bitten your hand off for it, right? So <laughs> you're right, there's there's no panic, there's no major concern. I think we regressed tonight. I think we had a very clear game plan and we just didn't follow it. Um, we had some people totally ignore the game plan. We had some people totally ignore the, the strides that they've made and the improvements they've made. and, and went back to deciding they were going to win a game single-handedly and that doesn't work that's not how teams are so maybe some people needed reminding maybe some people get that lesson back and have another opportunity to you know look at themselves including us as coaches maybe we didn't prepare the team as well as we should have done um, so so every one of us has has got the opportunity to to improve and and we need to take it because tonight wasn't good enough um, Having said that, you, you can't take anything away from, from Akron. I mean, sure. they clearly had a game plan, they clearly stuck to it, and they clearly ran it perfectly. Um, and, and you saw at the end how delighted they were with the game, and, and good for them because there's, there's nothing we can say that isn't just congratulations to a team that deserved to win. Um, so, yeah, we've got a lot of um, looking in the mirror to do to make sure we can improve. But we're still eight and one. We're still five points clear at the top of the league. Um, we're still in, in pole position, so we're, we're not going to panic. We're not going to suddenly decide the season's over. Um, I would much rather a performance like this happen now than next Sunday when, when suddenly it really does matter. So hopefully we're big enough and strong enough and tough enough to bounce back and realize that, okay, we've had our awful game of... of <laughs> the season and we're ready to refocus. Okay, thank you coach. Thanks mate.